Standby light cues 320 through 330, grand, video, and conductor special. Conductor special, go. Light key 325, go. Grand, go. My name is Alexandra Fishbein, and I'm a senior theater major concentrating in stage management and arts administration. Right now we're in the booth high above the Hanaway Theater stage, and this is a behind the scenes look at Orpheus in the Underworld. Before we can even think about raising the curtain, we have to start building the stage, and we begin with Matt Kaiser, who designs the set. Part of what you have to do as the designer is solve problems. Designing is always problem solving, so I know how much time we've got to build it, and how much money there is to go into it. So starting with that, then, it's talk to the director, see what he wants to do visually, as far as movement goes with the show, come up with sort of an artistic style for the show. And then I do a whole set of drafting, and I give all this to the shop, and Bob Brimmer takes it then, and he budgets it out. We do an estimate both for student labor and materials, uh, figure out what our challenges are. Uh, Stuart Kroll and I generally sit down and start engineering the pieces that, that we need to build. I will do typically some working drawings for that. Um, the more technical things are my favorite. In this case, it was the wagons because they're a little more complicated than normal ones. Box it down past the casters. As soon as that gets done, everything gets busy in the carpentry shop. We come together with a large group of students who all work together really well to make sure that we carry the designer's vision into the set and then onto the stage. Our student crew comes from a variety of majors all over campus. Uh, we also have practicum students that are, are taking a class so they get experience building this show. Let's get, let's get this toe nailed in and screwed down and then we can, uh, then we'll do the railing. Now we're opening and assembling the trap that Eurydice will be entering in to go into the underworld. We've installed this, this custom trap with a round circle so that we can open the top and then actors will be here to, to, to pull her down like that. While we're down here building the set, Bianca and Danae and their wonderful crew are up above us in the costume shop getting the costumes together for the actors. Any design I work on starts off with me talking to the director, in this case Paul. Um, but after I talked to him, I started sketching out designs that I based off of what I could read from the script. These help us as a shop because we're able to look up here and see what we have, what we don't have. We really came together for this one and I was actually really impressed with everyone. Since we have to work around our class schedules, with a show this big it became even more of an emphasis to work as a team. While we are up in the costume shop working up until the day of the show, the lighting crew is on stage preparing for tech. Uh, we'll have a lighting designer who will provide a light, light design. And Jason is my master electrician, so he will be responsible for getting that hung and focused and in place using a student crew. He'll tell me what, what lights we need, where to put them, what colors to put in them, where they get focused, and it's my job to figure out uh, where everything goes, how much cable uh, it takes, whether or not we have enough circuits in the theater to do that. If you want to fly that one in, we can start doing Second that. Second electric, coming in! Okay, go slow, slow, slow. Okay, go. All set. Working with the students kind of an hour here and there, mornings and afternoons around class schedules, uh, it takes us about a week and a half to get from a bare stage, um, empty electrics to putting all the lights back up. 12, 12, 12 we've, got well, we've got across the back, there's three um, like fisheye projectors across the back and those are mounted on a pipe up in the air behind those acoustic shells up there. And that's what's painting that cyclorama, that white wall all, all across the back. We didn't want to go with you know, wireless mics on all the performers. So what we did here, we decided we wanted to bring in these acoustic shells flown over the stage. And I had kind of in the back of my mind an idea of doing what we're doing here, which is using them as a projection surface. We've never really done that before. We have added another aspect to them, which is putting fabric onto them. This provides a really cool aspect for the actors in the audience because you can see what's going on in the heavens above or in the hell below, and it just adds another element to the whole show. Our deadlines are inflexible. We know when the audience is gonna be here, and our, our student crew is fantastic at pushing when we really need to push to, to get all that done. After all of these lights are hung, cabled, colored, patched, and focused, then we go into tech rehearsal. Sorry, Matt, that was my thought. That wasn't you. 195? Yes. Yeah, hold. hold, please. My role as stage manager during tech is that the show becomes my own. The director steps away and I'm put in charge of everything. I work hand in hand with the lighting designer and the crew backstage to make sure that all the technical aspects run smoothly. Is there another cue coming up? Yes. Let's see what it does. Light key 195 go. 
tech works Q to Q, meaning that the lighting designer will present a look for a certain part of the show, make sure it's okay, and then we'll move on to the next one. Go. Standby light cues 185 through 195 with wagons going with 185. It's really important to make sure the stage manager, myself, understands what the lighting designer is looking for so that their vision is captured on stage. Does the video come before or after fog? Uh, after. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So other than I found a better time to start the fog, were you okay with how the rest of that looked? Yeah. After Tech Weekend, we have three days of dress rehearsal, which is a key time for Danae and I to see how the costumes work with the actors and if there's anything that needs to be changed. I'm watching just to look for costume problems. Some of them might be huge, like somebody's skirt falls down in the middle of a scene. Some things might not be obvious to an audience member, but are very apparent to me. Um, I am most looking forward to seeing the audience adding a new perspective for the actors because the actors have a whole new action and reaction when the ambiance and the energy of the audience is sitting. So things that might go normal and like without a beat during rehearsal and tech, it's a whole new experience when everyone is acting. Well, our students, are, they're, they're learning to do theater here and, and it's, it, it's like riding a bicycle. You only learn it by doing it. And also you get used to what I call production values. You know, no, no matter how much or how little you've got to work with on a production, you've got to um, make it beautiful and it's got to be awesome. And I always tell them the first rule of theater is thou shalt not bore. Everything's just got to be appropriate and correct and polished. And um, our students come out of here with that ingrained in them and that's really what it's about. It is a really special experience to be able to take what we've learned in the classroom and apply it to a production of this size. All of the hands-on experiences during my four years at Plymouth State are going to really prepare me for any future endeavors. Production meetings, paint calls, um, sleepless nights, like tech, rehearsal, everything. It's been an awesome hands-on experience to see what really goes on and how I, can, how I have contributed being a part of it. I specifically picked Plymouth State as my school to attend to because it allows students and stage managers in general to get a real hands-on experience of the show. The most valuable part of it all, though, isn't until the curtain comes down on the very first show and seeing the audience's appreciation of it and to hear their applause for everything they've just seen, that's how I know I've done my job well. Their backs might be to me, but to see the smiles on their faces as they walk out, it's all you need. Yeah.